graders and welcome to lesson 107 on using percents to name parts of a whole. So first I gotta warn you I'm at my sister-in-law's house and I'm sitting outside on a porch and there's like cars driving by and stuff so you might hear all sorts of other sounds as cars go by. Just bear with me. I'm doing the best I can. So here we have, so the word percent itself can give us a huge hint on how to solve these problems, okay? The word per means out of, and the word cent means a hundred. There's a hundred cents in a dollar, a centipede has a hundred legs. So we can remember that cent means a hundred and per means out of. So the word per cent literally means out of a hundred or of a hundred. In this question, it says 50% of Americans drive cars. What that means is that 50 out of 100 Americans drive cars. Now, it's a, there's more than 100 Americans, right? So we're, we're breaking it down to mean out of 100 to give us the percent, but it doesn't mean that there's actually always 100 of whatever objects we're talking about the percent of. So like fractions, percents name a part out of a whole. We can make fractions percents by renaming them with a denominator of 100, percent of 100. So that's why if our denominator is 100, then this is the percentile, all right? As a proportion, it's going to be the part over the whole equals the percent over 100. Let's jump into an example. If eight of the 20 students are boys, what percent of the students are boys? Well, I'm gonna start by writing this as a ratio. So eight out of 20 are boys. So we wanna know how many out of 100 would be boys. If the denominator is easy to just multiply by something to get to 100, we can do this just like we've done with equivalent fractions. So 20 times what is 100? 20 times 5. So then 8 times 5 is 40. So that means that it's 40% of the students are boys. Okay? The part over the whole. There were 400 pieces of candy in total. If 60 pieces were chocolates, what percent were chocolates? Well, first let's talk about the part, okay? The part is the 60. If we put it over the whole, which is 400. Now, this one's interesting, okay? Because I don't know that we've done a lot of this in class. We're going from 400 to 100. So I'm not gonna multiply because that would be bigger than 400. I'm going to need to divide. What can I divide 400 by to get to 100? Right, four. If I divide 400 by four, I'll get 100. So then I can divide 60 by four. And I'm gonna do that mentally by saying, it's dividing by four is like dividing by two and then dividing by two again. So if I cut 60 in half, I have 30. And if I cut 30 in half, I have 15. If I didn't know how to do that, I could write out 60 divided by four to figure it out. But here I got my answer. So it is 15% are chocolates. Okay. Sometimes, though, a fraction is not easily renamed as a part of 100. So you need to think of it as a proportion or you can multiply by 100%. Here we go. What percent is 1 6? So this is asking 1 of 6. So I'm going to start by writing this as a fraction. I've got 1 over 6. That's the part. That's the whole. And now I want to rename it so that way it's going to have a denominator of 100. How can I do this? Well, nothing times 6 is 100, so there's I, can, I have to use a different strategy to get there, okay? One way is by using a proportion. I can't completely remember if we've talked about this in fifth grade yet, but it's worth learning how to do. A proportion says that this times this is going to equal this times this. So I'm going to, since I don't know this one, I'm gonna multiply those. I'm gonna say one times 100, and then I'm gonna divide it 
by the number that's left, okay, equals my variable, what I'm trying to figure out. So now from here, I can look to see if anything is going to simplify. I know that 6 and 100 are both even, so I could start there. I'm going to cut this in half to 50 and this in half to 3. And then I'm going to multiply across, and I'll get 50 over 3. And that means 50 divided by 3, so I'm going to divide... 50 divided by 3, 3 goes into 5 once with 2 left over, yikes, 3 goes into 20 6 times, which is 18, so 20 minus 18 is 2, so my answer is 16 and 2 thirds percent. All right, here is another way to do it. I can multiply, I can just multiply by 100%. So that means that I'm going to take 1 6 and I'm going to multiply it by 100% over 1, which is going to give me 100 over 6, 100 divided by 6. 6 goes into 10 one time. I'm going to have 4 left over, so then 6 goes into 40 6 times, 6 times 6 is 36, 40 minus 36 is 4, so 16 and 4, 6, though that fraction is going to reduce to 2 thirds, so my answer is 16 and 2 thirds percent. Hey, what do you know? I got the same answer no matter which way I did it. Here's another example. The team won two-thirds of its games. Find the percent of its games to team... Its games... The... Team won. All right, so in this one, we want to basically find out what percent two-thirds is. So I can use either strategy, right? I can use a proportion or I can use by multiplying by 100%. If I were to use a proportion, I'm going to say that this equals this, which means that two, oh my goodness, a mess. two times 100 divided by three. Which is going to give me 200 divided by 3. And when I do that, 3 goes into 20. 6 times, 6 times 3 is 18. Remainder of 2. Bring down the 0. 3 goes into 20. 6 times. I've got a remainder of 2 over 3. So my answer is 66 and 2 thirds percent. 66 and 2 thirds percent. Alright, here's the last question. What percent is 1 eighth? This is an, another way of asking the exact same question. So I want you to do this one on your own. You're going to write 1 eighth and then either use a proportion or multiply by 100% to figure out what percent it is. Go ahead and get to work and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.